medicine for happiness and in our uh, rakum's annual day celebration children are all performing on the stage and <laughs> all the parents and people were sitting dead they were thinking if they get up and they clap and they dance what will others think you can have happiness only if in and the yang work together positive and negative the performer and the watcher yes <laughs> the performer is performing for you and uh, you must also perform for him you must also move clap smile jump dance and it is a celebration in that celebration only you can find belak deepa positive and in that deepa belak light is called medicine william borrows born on 5th february 1914 in missouri in the united states of america died on 2nd august 1997 in kansas in the us was an american writer and visual artist widely considered a primary figure of the beat generation and a major post modern author who influenced popular culture and literature william borrows said virtue is simply happiness and happiness is a by product of function you are happy when you are functioning yes that was what we were been discussing from the last 3 years or more more than 1021 days that flowing water is fresh water stagnant water stinks anything which moves even for diabetes this even people who have got heart diseases this almost all the diseases springs from not silence but motionless when you are on the on the move expressing you see another person you think i do not want to get involved fence sitters are creating diseases you must participate yes in that participation i think you you were able to give of your talent and if your talent is so powerfully practiced i think the dirt in that area also will be cleaned up the disease in the area moves out this is doesn't stay where there is movement this is doesn't stay where there is participating talent virtue is simply happiness virtue doesn't mean that you follow a particular rule created by the society please understand they try to think virtue means yeah you are very good you are following it, you have to you are you are focused on your particular job and you go penetrating deeper and deeper through your happiness and in that penetrating you you are penetrating through a process called karma yoga keep doing work without expecting results the day you try to expect results you become a businessman like people come to me telling samuji you are silently running the school years past and you have to be known in the outside world we will publicize you we will put you in the social media we have got uh, people who are spokesperson for bjp we got these people that people we have got people working in the cba all the stocks i don't know what are those things and the moment they come closer to me i find they are not coming to help rakum school to feed more children or rakum school to build a building they are trying to grab they are trying to rob <laughs> then it is not which they are i think most of the people who are in the market are in a hurry to grab and in the grabbing process they fall sick they spend huge money into the allopathy hospitals or in the psychological ward like the my my people in indranagar neighborhood they are going mad they are going to many psychologists and psychiatrists because they non stop trying to find fault with anything any tom dick in there they are not 
participating to create life, which is simply happiness. And happiness is a byproduct of the function. Yes. Byproduct function means you are so focused, so deep inside. Of course, you see the light. You see many answers, many interpretations of answers. And in that interpretation of answers, if you just melt, you, you just give off your whole body and you and that functioning becomes one. It is orgasmic experience. It is really enlightenment. And in the enlightenment, when you come back, you look around what is not your passion. You come back home and then you wash your clothes. Yes. You do all the maintenance work. You cook your food. And that's the time. Another virtue comes. Another happiness, happiness comes for, for what you were focusing. You try to share it up with your wife, your husband, your children. And you find the family becomes so powerful. Family is functioning. You're happy when they are functioning. Yes. When the family starts moving and everybody is giggling. And in the giggling, only beauty pearls falls out from the mouth. Of only wisdom, yes. Only truth, yes. Only gospel of truth. Yes. And in the gospel of truth, you become so conscious, you do not have to put anything in proper order. Order happens of its own. And from there, you connect to the joint family and the family tree. It is very easy to connect because you already know you became a very beautiful tailor. You know how to stitch like the old grandfather and grandmother on the 70th wedding anniversary when all the uh, journalists rushed up to them to ask them what was the success that they were both together for so many years in America. Of course, India, <laughs> you would marry. Uh, there's no question uh, how long this is going to last. We do not have a mathematics in our marriage. We don't calculate. It's a way of life that it is still death, it's even after death. But only in America, they calculate how many years are this marriage going to last, one year, five years, ten years. This elderly people said, this elderly women said, oh, in my house, if, um, if anything is broken, we try to fix it back. If anything is torn, I stitch it back. Not like the present generation. The moment some, some, something gets torn, they throw it out and buy a new one. We don't do that. We do not know that. That's the success between me and my husband. What you simply happen is that is the happiness. And happiness is a byproduct of function. Keep moving, flowing water. Yes, you are happy when you are functioning. So keep your movement. Talk to your trees and plants and your pet animals. Yes. And then let it become always a two-way movement. Don't become stiff in front of your family members. Then... Once you can break that code, you can see only happiness. And in that happiness, varieties of medicines, interpretations of medicines.